hey, we're going to vlog this. So yesterday I went on a rampage of buying Valentine's Day treats. I was going to make a few goodie bags for friends and my mom and my boyfriend. And we're going to do like a vlog haul. What are these? Assorted pralines. These look really good. Can't pronounce the first one. Hazelnut milk, espresso, coffee. He loves chocolate and candy. And these look so good. I was obsessed with some of these around Christmas time. I don't know if it's this brand, but like the waffles. This one has cinnamon and bourbon vanilla. Oh, chocolate caramel. And they have a really cute box. And then macarons. I've always wanted to try these pre-packaged ones because I love macarons. So I think he'll like the pistachio ones. I'm definitely making him give me one of those. And then world's best tasting gummies the cashier said these are really good whenever they have peach rings all the employees like go nuts over them so i know he had like something by this company at one point in time like gummy bears might have to try those too but yes a little goodie bag of yumness all right more vlog style hauls so for one friend i totally forgot to give her this when i saw her last night so i think i'm seeing her today but I got this really cool like fabric bag at TJ Maxx. It was on sale for a dollar and I wrapped her present already and I have to go pack up the present for my other friend because the UPS store closes soon. So um, I went to TJ Maxx and Target and a bunch of other places and I figured I'd buy a bunch of things kind of in bulk and split them up and do goodie bags and do like gift baskets for everyone. So I got two new packages of face masks because they're all individually wrapped. So I figured I'd just buy some. And my TJ Maxx was like all out of these. Like these are the only cruelty-free ones they had by the cream shop, which I like. Usually they have a million kinds of face masks, but it was picked over the day before Valentine's Day. Oh my God, everyone else was thinking the same thing. So I got a charcoal and almond fusion sheet mask and rose water one, which the packaging on this and I've bought some other ones recently so I think I'm gonna take some out of those sets whoops this I got for me should I have just filmed a haul I don't know maybe this will be called a haul but I've always wanted more of the bold metals brushes by real techniques I love them this is the tapered blush brush I thought it was so so pretty six bucks not bad you know this was like 15 at TJ Maxx then for the friend whose bag I'm wrapping, right now I got her an Anastasia liquid lipstick, which are at TJ Maxx. I got a red color, Sarah Fine, um, because she doesn't really wear makeup a lot and she likes cruelty free brands, so she'll love Anastasia. Plus it was affordable for me at TJ Maxx. But she always borrows my red liquid lipstick by Jeffree Star when we go out. So I figured I'll give her one of her very own. These are supposed to be really good. I have a ton, but I still haven't tried them because I'm crazy and I'm waiting to do a video. <clears throat> And then look at all these cute stationary things from the Target section. I just needed some note cards. I bought a whole bunch of thank you notes, like so many packs of these from the Dollar Spa a while ago, and I can't find them to save my life. So I need thank you notes and just cards for when I send out my Poshmark sales and stuff like that. So I got, oh, hey there. <gasps> Ooh, that's why I got them. I got the holographic envelopes. Then I always need more magnet list pads. I think they're so cute. Um, was this for me or was this for my friend? I don't know, but it was in the dollar spot and I love having these on my fridge and this one has plenty of room to write. Sometimes the designs are too dark, you can't see them. Then I got this cute pack of plain note cards. I was going to make some Valentine's cards, but I don't know if I'm going to now. Um, but in any case, it never hurts to have plain note cards. So there's a whole big set of these for $3 because you get 30 in here. So that's not bad. I haven't bought their washi tape in forever. I used to be so obsessed with it, but this one had all these pretty flowers on it. Look at that. The roses. I thought it was really pretty. So even though I don't really do washi anymore, I figured if I was going to do it, this would be the one I'd use, especially for February. And then some more note cards. These ones are really cute, whimsical, happy thoughts. Really cute mermaidy stuff going on. So I thought these would be cute for miscellaneous note writing. And oh, one more thing in the Target bag. I got this for me. It's so cute. Lipstick notepad. I'm in love with it. This was $3 because it's chunky and huge. 250 sheets. I love it. I always need just scraps of paper to jot notes down on. And I hope this like the pattern isn't too dark to actually write things on but I thought it was super super cute and I can just leave it on my kitchen table because I'm always jotting down notes and leaving them everywhere and are there just like usually I'll use notepads like this but like the shape is weird I don't know this just hit me in all the right places and there's so much of it here and lipstick come on so cute I also got this super cute card someone had just left it in the dollar spot it was not a dollar it was super expensive but 
I thought it was super cute. So that's for one of my friends by Papyrus. Can I open it? Oh my goodness. It's all about us today. I thought this was super, super cute. So even though it was like a stupid expensive card, it was really cute. And then from Ocean State Job Lot, I picked up this pack of Valentine's cards. I was gonna send some to all my pen pals. Guys, I had such good intentions, but I did literally none of this on time. Oh my God, this week was crazy. I like spent so much time getting these gift bags ready. I haven't sent any out yet. But anyways, these are by American Greetings. Um, there's three of each. They're really cute Valentine's-y cards. And then these you could use almost for any time, but these are specifically Valentine's-y. So these were really cute. $6.99 retail. These were like $3.50, I think. And then Sunbun loves these treats, and they happen to come in a Valentine's edition in little heart shapes. So I'm sending those in my care package to my parents, or I might just see them tomorrow. So I might just wrap it up in a bag. But mail's more fun. I don't know. We'll see. And at Ocean Star I finally found some colonial candles. I've never seen these anywhere. This was $1.99 for this nine ounce candle. So I got maple butterscotch. It's a little on the cinnamony side, but this is pretty big. And then I got some little baby mini candles. So this one is Topaz Waters. This was actually really good. Yum. It's kind of perfumey. Um, almost archives by Kringle smell and these are 99 cents and these are 57 grams I forget how many ounces it said they were I think like one or two I don't know but they're so cute and this one is iris I think these cute little baby candles they're like almost look like tea lights or something but I thought they were just adorable so I picked these up for myself because they were so cheap and I've always wanted to try colonial everyone loves them mm -hmm. 